Hello, my name is Kamran and I'm technical support engineer at National Instruments. In this demo video, I would like to show how the integration between multiple vehicle simulation software can be achieved using NI hardware in the loop platform. As you are probably aware, there are a lot of tools available in the market to test ADAS sensors. I would like to demonstrate the co-simulation environment for ADAS HL system, specifically using IPG CarMaker, MonoDrive, and National Instrument Voice Channel AppView. So let's get started with the demonstration. Let's get started with the system diagram. On the left hand side, you can see an I real time PXI system. This real time PXI system is running an I wire stand IPG car maker, which is having our vehicle dynamics model. Then we have the soft issue models that can be built on an lab view or MATLAB simulink. The very stand on an IPXI real time system is communicating with our native wire stand on the host PC over Ethernet. And we also have MonoDrive client on the host PC, which is communicating between an IWARE stand and MonoDrive simulator. The MonoDrive simulator here is responsible for generating environment, visualization, and radar models. Uh, on the right hand side, we have the ADAS ECU, which is responsible for performing sensor fusion and implementing some kind of control uh, using the data which we are providing uh, over the CAN bus. Uh, we can also have a camera which is pointing towards the MonoDrive simulator screen and giving the feedback to the ADAS ECU. For this particular demo, we do not have the physical ADAS ECU, so we are going to use the soft ECU models to implement a kind of control and demonstrate how we can uh, uh, simulate the sensors data from multiple simulation softwares available in the market. Uh, as this demonstration has many bits and pieces, so let me first talk about how the data is generated, from where it is generated, and where does it flow. So we have IPG car maker, which is running the vehicle dynamic model and generating the vehicle dynamic data, like roll, pitch, yaw, accelerations, and velocities. We are passing on this data to an average stand real time using a uh, very stand custom device. Very stand is communicating it to host PC uh, using the Ethernet and UDP packets from where it is passed on to MonoDrive client. The so MonoDrive client is communicating the dynamics information to MonoDrive simulator, uh, which is in turn returning as the vehicle radar data, uh, passing on to uh, very stand running on a PXI real time. And then we can like just send this data over the CAN bus to ADAS ECU or to our soft ECU models. On our ECU, we can implement uh, the control and we can have the sensor fusion for the features such as automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, line spot monitoring, and many others. Uh, so the next bit in, in here is the vehicle AI editor. Using this editor, we can generate any kind of scenario that we want to use or play in our HIL system. Uh, so the scenario we are currently using is a vehicle for is our vehicle for which we can use the certain parameters. We can actually place our vehicle dynamically using the ego commands and uh, we also have an obstacle vehicle which is running very slow like five kilometer per hour and we would try to stop our vehicle whenever the obstacle vehicle is in the radar's range. So th this tool uh, is very easy to implement and you can like place anything and generate any kind of scenario, set any frame rate per second. And once the whole thing is done, you can output this file as a JSON, like the one we have here. And then we can uh, like the play, uh, Play back this whole thing using MonoDrive client. So right now I'm going to use this editor as a simulator and I'm going to play this so that we can uh, use the MonoDrive client and generate the whole scenario over this screen. Uh, next, let's see what's happening on our NI very stand side. So let's first talk about the system definition file. Here in the system definition file, we have the two custom devices. One for car maker and the second for mono drive. For the car maker, we have uh, the inputs like the DM gas with which we can accelerate our vehicle, and then we have the braking inputs. The outputs are the vehicle dynamic data which we are feeding to mono drive using the ego commands, and the ego commands uh, are used to dynamically place the vehicle on mono drive simulator. 
And we also have the radar data for 20 targets available, but for this demo, we are only using the three targets. Uh, so we are passing on this radar information that we are receiving from MonoDrive Simulator, as explained earlier, to our canvas. So our canvas have the cyclic commands, and you can see here we have the radar data for three targets being passed on. So for this demo, uh, you can see it disabled because we do not have uh, any uh, external ADA CCU, but we do have the soft ECU, which we have implemented for automatic emergency braking and throttle control. So throttle control is simply a PID that we have implemented and AB is using the radar uh, inf uh, data information, which we are fedding for, from MonoDrive. Uh, on the screen, uh, you will be able to see the MonoDrive data, like the radar data, and this is uh, the input to the MonoDrive, which we are, which is essentially the dyna vehicle dynamics data we are getting from the car maker. The same outputs from the car maker, and uh, these are the braking and the gas parameters that we are controlling uh, using the soft ECU models. Then we have the CAN communication obviously disabled but yeah you can see the can communication over here and then on this page we can control the soft ecu inputs and we can see some of the outputs like whenever the vehicle is in range we can see this a b active and we can set the desired speed distance threshold pid parameters etc all, all all here so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to deploy this whole model on our real time uh pxi uh, it will take uh, some time to uh, to complete the deployment. So when this is being deployed, you will see the car maker uh, instance popping up. Uh, when the synchronization is complete, you will see this uh, as connected. At this point, we can talk about uh, MonoDrive client. So MonoDrive client is playing back the same file I shown you. I've shown you earlier, and uh, let me walk you a bit through the code. So in here we are connecting to the very stand. After connecting to the very stand, we are reading a couple of channels uh, from an very stand, and based on that we are running a state machine here. So the first state it will get into is initialize uh, the MonoDrive simulator. So this is the main VI which is doing this thing. And uh, here you can have the multiple options like uh, you can set the weather profiles, you can set the running mode to be closed or replay, etc. Then we can also set the radar parameters like FOV, the ranges, uh, if they're needed. Uh, I'm not going to much complex stuff in here. Uh, so this is the VI with which we are uh, communicating with our MonoDrive uh, custom device and using the queues we are fetching this whole data inside this uh, state machine over here. So once we have the car maker running, so the car maker is here is the trigger, then we jump to the simulate. Uh, state in the simulate state we acquire the parameters like the dynamics vehicle dynamics data from from our monodrive custom device over the queues and we feed it to our uh, uh, monodrive simulator uh, which we ran uh, uh, just time before and then we fetch the radar data and pass it again to the monodrive custom device uh, using this VI from here it is going to our real-time pxi system and uh, is being passed to our adas uh, ecu or maybe the soft ecu so once we stop it uh, or there is a there is a communication issue between the monodrive simulator uh, this automatically stop with an error of course and uh, it releases all the resources uh, let's try running this uh, monodrive client I can switch to the front panel and I can make it run. So once it's running, you can see uh, the uh, very stand connected LED switching on. This graph is not uh, still updating because we still haven't made uh, the car maker run. Uh, and, and you remember while going inside, there was a state in which uh, we had a trigger 
which is waiting for the car maker so as soon as i can run the car maker this will start working as well so let's start preparing the car maker to work i can load the vehicle dynamic model here i can connect and start meanwhile i can open the ipg movie this is a good debugging tool to see what's happening there on our uh, uh, car maker side so as soon as uh, the, the the model is loaded we can see a car moving and we can see a similar situation here on our uh, mono drive side and the data on our uh, worry stand is getting updated the can data is not updating because there is no car uh, like obstacle detection until at the moment as soon as there will be another another stuff or another obstacle in the range this will be updated as well so let me just place all the screens so that we can see everyone at the same time so we can have the ipg movie yeah that's a better view so let me set up a speed of let's say 85 km per hour uh, down the road you will be able to see a vehicle which is stopped right here so our vehicle is approaching this obstacle vehicle and as soon as we it is in the range which you can also see over the radar data the uh, AB will get activated and the vehicle will stop so let me rerun this whole thing but this time at uh, 100 kilometer per hour uh, speed range and uh, like I'm accelerating and I want to see where my AB algorithm uh, uh, st stop working. So this time I'm working at 100 km per hour speed. My vehicle is accelerating and as soon as it's, it, it will approach the other vehicle, you can see the, uh, my radar data being communicated to CAN. I will be able to apply the AB but the distance between the vehicles are much lesser as compared to my previous attempt, which was at 85 km per hour. So uh, let me do it again, this time at 125 km per hour and start running. So as I discussed in the beginning that uh, our uh, AB soft ECU model is not very sophisticated. So I assume this is where we need to bring some improvements. So this time my vehicle is at, uh, accelerating at 25 125 km per hour speed uh, it has seen the obstacle vehicle the ab is applied but the vehicle is not able to stop and uh, yeah so uh, just to sum summarize and everything we have multiple tools integrated at one place we have the software sensor simulation uh, platforms available which are communicating with each other using ni hardware in the loop uh, platform and i uh, stand with and i uh, lab view soft ecu models uh, i hope uh, this video was interesting for you and uh, you will be able to understand the bit uh, some of the ideas with which we can simulate the HIL environments and implement some test setups for our maybe ABs, adaptive cruise control, blind spot parking, etc. So thank you very much once again.